I am not sick for once or behind on editing, which kind of makes me feel like I might be doing something wrong. Let's just start the video before some IRL responsibility comes up behind me and uh, pickpockets my ability to function properly. Hello all and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Junk Drawer. Oh, I'm sprinting. I forgot. <laughs> Whoops. I decided to try toggle sprinting. So I rebound my sprint button to the caps lock and toggled sprint instead of hold sprint because my pinky was hyperextending and it hurt. But uh, I forgot that you have to turn it off now, which kind of messes with the zoom function. So I, I'm gonna have to remember to stop sprinting, but that's okay. So what did we do last week? We went camping, so I have nothing to show for uh, what I did last week. That's, that's nice. I also have no way of explaining what the general premise of this series is, but um, Junk Drawer Minecraft, if you do not know, is the series where if I build something once, I cannot build anything similar to it ever again while I'm recording the series, which, um, may not be too much longer. Spoiler alert. I'll get into that a little bit more at the end of the episode, but uh, just a warning, we might be wrapping things up soon. So uh, don't worry though, don't worry. We have a lot of other things planned. You're not gonna miss my face. I'll miss your face, but um, you won't have to miss mine. Gosh, you're close. Okay, we'll talk about that more later. For now, let's talk about what we're gonna do in this episode. There isn't too much else that I really wanna do with this world, except I'd love to try to make it look a little bit prettier. I get that the whole point is for everything to look like it's out of place. That was in the, the entire point. However, I think we could make it look a little bit nicer, don't you? I mean, look at all these blank spots. And to do that, I wanna try to do some custom trees. I have done one custom tree so far and it was in ahow and that is in the portal area over here i did this big old living oak tree ignore that we'll finish that later but this one's kind of little and i want to try something that isn't quite so green i know that sounds weird but i want to build some dead trees i think i'm just gonna like dot maybe three around the edges see what we can do with that and you know since it's in the desert it would kind of have to be dead in order for it to blend in. However, there's something I wanna do first. You see this? You see this? You hear that? I kinda wish I didn't hear it. I wanna get another one of these, maybe, if I can. And one of the best places to get these is pillager outposts. You know, those those pillagers that kill me on a bi-weekly basis? Yeah, I wanna go raid one of those intentionally and uh, put my life at risk to maybe get some kind of interesting loot, but also maybe not. I don't know. There is a pillager outpost over there, over where the lush cave is, and I've been ignoring it like the plague that it is. I think it's time that we got a little bit of a challenge going here. It's been a while since I've raided something, and I think I haven't died nearly enough. She said with seven levels to her name because she died at the very end of last episode. Don't, don't look into it. I think it'd be fun. Let's go and prep for that. Oh, I should probably put my armor back on. That would probably help. Oh, boats. I don't know if this would actually help because I'm curious to see if we can capture a few. I've never tamed a pillager before. For future reference, I need to know how. I'm not going to tell you why. It's top secret spoiler stuff. All right, ill-prepared and overconfident. Let's go try this. There it is. It's not too far from home, which is very, very handy because uh, I'm going to die a lot. However, I will be setting my spawn here. Oh, I forgot they have captives. Ooh, we might be able to get some a laze out of this. All right, let's just go right there. Definitely not ready for this. Let's just jump straight into it, shall we? Let's just rush in blindly. Hello, Iron Golem. Okay, hang on. If I free this guy, he can help me. Hello, hello. You're free. Please be free. No, I just ran straight into them. Okay, okay, hold on. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Hi, um, I need you to not. I need you to no. Uh, stop it, ow. Oh yeah, shoot each other. I forgot to do that. Yeah, do that. Ow. Oh, there, I'm surrounded. Ooh, maybe I should have made a couple of these shields. That probably would have been a good idea. Okay. There we go. Okay, toggle sprint is actually helping a lot here. I need to eat. Oop, I really need to eat. Okay, flee, flee, tactical flee, tactical flee, tactical flee. Oh, there are lays. Hi. Okay, that's four of them. They're gonna start spawning again, though. Can you help me? Okay, I don't want to free the Alays yet. All my leads are in my under chest. I don't have time to go grab it. I kind of want them to, ah. Oh gosh, there are so many. Ow. Oh, how? Oh, that's right. Some of you have that thing. Have that enchantment. That's really, infrust really, really infrustrating. Yep, that's a word. Oh, this is a cave. This is not any better 
Oh, I should not die here. I shouldn't die here. I died here. That's not a good place to die. Okay, where were we? Ow. I need a minute. Here we are. Oh my word, there's so many of you. That is not fair. Okay. Yep, I... This might be a death loop here. I need to box myself in, maybe? Oh gosh, that's a... No, 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 that's a creeper. Oh no, that could blow up my stuff. This was a great idea. I'm so glad we started the day off with this. Oh no. Okay, this is too many of them. Nope. Okay, well, we got rid of the creeper. That's good. Creeper's gone now. Probably so is some of my stuff, but that's okay. Oh, my elytra might have exploded. That's fun to think about. Oh, it did not explode. That's nice. Okay. Okay, I need to think about this. Okay, I just need to get it... I just need to get it further up the hill. And if I can get out, then that's that's good enough. So this is just gonna take a couple of trips. It's just gonna take a couple of trips. We're not that bad off. <laughs> I just need to get it further up the hill every time I go down and die. It's like a relay race. It's fine. This is fine. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Oh god, oh go good golly gracious goshness. I hate this so much. I just need my building block so I can get out. Oh, actually, I have more building blocks. I take these with me. This might help. This might help. Okay. Hello. Please leave me alone. I don't want to be here with you anymore. Okay. Are we out? I think we're out. Okay. Hold on. That may not have been all of it, but uh, I will take it for now. I need to go sleep. I'm shaking so much. Okay. What did we get? What do, what do we not have? That's probably the main issue. We got the elytra. That's the important part. We are missing some stuff. Let's go back and get that. Oh. Did they wander further off into the cave? Oh, that's kind of nice if that's the case. I think that's everything. Ah, oh, no. There, go away. Ha, huh. okay. That actually didn't turn out too bad. Let me do some inventory real quick. I think we actually got everything back. That's pretty impressive for me. Hey, good. No more running into caves. Let's take a moment to recover. And then maybe I'll see if I can grab those allays and maybe some of the loot chests. Maybe that could be a terrible idea, but I want to try anyway. As long as I just don't go running into any more canyons, I should be fine. I'm going in. Hello, I'm in your house. Ha 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 ha. Gosh, you need to light these up. Oh my word. Oh, okay. That's, this is great. This is so great. I'm so glad I took the time to come up here. Is that actually it? Okay. I get it. You guys, you, you could maybe use some help in the resources department. That's kind of sad, honestly. I feel bad for you. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Calm down. Let's, whoa, there are so many. <laughs> that is so many of you. Oh, okay, okay. We're gonna do it this way. We're gonna do it this way. My shield's gonna break here soon. Okay, here we go. Yep. Ooh, maybe I could lead them into this canyon. Oh, great. Never mind. They're pathfinding very well, unfortunately. We got a few of them isolated. Oh, look at you, so tall. I might see if I can go grab the allays while I'm over here. Never mind. Everyone's over here. And I still don't have a shield. We're fine. This is fine. Never mind. It's not fine. It's no longer fine. It is no longer fine. Nope, 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 nope. Extra nope with the side of, uh, heck no. There are so many of them. I did not think that it would spawn this many. I don't think putting them in boats is going to stop it. Hang on. Two seconds, please. Two seconds, please. So impatient. Jeez. I'm really not sure these allays are worth it. Maybe we'll just free them. Maybe we won't take them home. Hi, guys. Can I fly with you? Where'd your friend go? Where did your friend just go? Maybe it's just one. Okay. Oh, okay. Too fast, too fast, too fast. You know what? They can just be free. Be free, little allay. Ah, they are free. They are off living their best life. Oh, actually, you didn't make it very far. Are you okay? Is it just the one? Here, I need to give it something. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Come here. Come here. Have that. Okay, now come over here. Okay, thank you. Let's go this way. Come on, dude. Let's go. Don't kill my LA, please. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Hello, friend. We're gonna make a little bit of a little little hiking trip up here. I'm gonna try to get my stuff back. I don't remember if there were two of you or not. I'm so sorry if there were. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, 
Off we go, off we go, off we go. We're leaving. Hi, bye. Thanks for letting us pillage your pillager outpost. <laughs> it was fun. Run, run, run. Run. I don't know if it's still with me or not. You are still with me, kind of. Hi. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. No. Okay, we're good. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Was there another one of you? I might go back and look later, but um, let's get this one home first. It's, okay, maybe I should not sprint. Maybe that would help. Go with me? Yep, you are. I think I have a good place to put you. <laughs> it's so cute. It makes such good eye contact. Well, you keep trying to go back there. Uh-oh, okay, there might be another one over there. Don't worry, I'll go back and look for them. I don't know if I'll find them, but I will look. I think you'll like it in here. Follow? Follow? Ah, oh, mm. Here. Um. Thank you. Here, try this. There you go. Okay, you stay there, and I am gonna try to find your friend. Oh, I'm already sentimentally attached. I'm already risking my life for this thing. This isn't good. If I freed them, I don't know where the other one would have wandered off to. Hopefully I didn't die. Hey, what'd you do with the other relay? It is not in here. Okay. Ow. Where could it have gone? Oh my word, there are so many of them. Ow. All right, I am not seeing the other relay. Whether it died or it flew off to start its own journey. Honestly, you go, girl. That's admirable. Ow. Okay, I went back and checked the footage just to make sure I wasn't crazy. There definitely was two. However, as soon as I opened the cage, the first one just booked it. So I really don't think it wants to come back home with me, which is um really unfortunate because I think its friend was looking for it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. I think it's best to assume that it's living its best life as a free fairy creature. That does make me think that I need to free my other one though. I don't really need it for anything and I feel bad keeping it in captivity. That's, that's exactly what we're trying to avoid. That's why we saved it. So I'm going to go give it the choice to leave if it wants. Oh yeah, it wants out. It wants to be away. It wants to be free. Okay. Hi. Here you go. Um, here. You don't, you don't need that anymore. I didn't find your friend. I'm so sorry. I think he just left. You know, I'm sorry. You can choose if you want to stay here or not, but I'm not, I'm not going to hold you to it. You don't need to stay here. <laughs> you just looking around? Did you, were you just waiting for us now? Oh, okay. You want to go in with the sheep? It's just looking around the whole world right now. This is so cute. Oh, I haven't done anything over here yet. No, no, don't look at that. Don't look at that. Don't. Hi. <laughs> I forget that you guys have such a strong objective. You're kind of like me. You always got to be doing something. Okay. Well, where could we put you where you're okay with that? I know you don't like the lantern. You're, <laughs> you're so fast. You want to go in my storage room? Here, we'll give you lots of options here. Oh. Nope, never mind. We're we're off again. You seem to just be staying put. I I'd feel feel bad putting you on a lead. Much of this episode is me just like skipping around chasing a fairy. <sighs> what am I gonna do with you? You just wanna are you just gonna stick around? If I leave you, you might just fly away, but I guess that's okay. But you don't seem to want to stay inside. Alright, tell you what. I'll let you wander around, and if you're still here by the end of the episode, then maybe we'll figure out a place to put you. But if you're not here by the end of the episode, then you can take that honeycomb and go find your friend. Or just do it now. Oh honey, oh honey, can you swim? Okay, I think we're fine. Um, yeah, okay, never mind. I think it's just leaving. Nope, nope, you're coming back. Okay, you are so hard to track. Okay. I'm gonna leave you to your thing, because I got other stuff to do today. Oh, okay, never mind. It just wants to be close to me. Oh, I forgot I got another one of these. What is this one? Oh! We got a fun one. Okay, I like that one. A lot nicer than this. Hi. <laughs> no, don't get emotionally attached. Well, I need some more acacia and some more coral, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and gather some of that. I don't know what else to do for you. <laughs> Thank you. You wanna help me chop down some acacia trees? Here, come help me do this. Oh, my inventory's full. Awkward. Oh, <laughs> hang on. I'm trying. <laughs> Hey, 
Thank you. Looking for that. Thank you. Alleys are even funnier when your inventory is full. It's so cute because they're like so insistent that you take all of the stuff. I think I've got everything I need for it, I think. But I'm just going to get started real fast and we'll see how they turn out. Three, two, one, go! All right, so this build is just a bunch of trees, so we're going to keep this short. I started by pillaring up with some acacia logs, adding a few around the edges to give myself more of a substantial base, before roughing out some quick root systems along the ground. Then I added a few more logs around the base to give it more of a tapered look, before pillaring up the rest of the way. And when I got to a reasonable height, I got started on the branches. These were kind of interesting, since branches are arguably the hardest part of a custom tree. You can't make them stick straight up, but you also can't make them stick straight out. You've got to find like a good balance between verticality and horizontality? That's not a word. You know what I mean. And then the branches has branches and you gotta figure out where to put those branches and it's just a whole thing. But after a bit of trial and error, I settled on a shape that I liked. And it wasn't that. Once the shape was done, I replaced a lot of the exposed logs with some acacia wood to make sure there were no strange orange bits popping through, and then went back up to replace the tips of the branches with some dead coral blocks. I absolutely love the way that dead fire coral in particular blends into acacia wood so nicely. And speaking of dead coral, I added some actual coral on the tips of the branches to make them look more... Wiki? I don't know. What's the word for it? I'm gonna act like there isn't a word for it. But I also added some coral fans around the branches to give the exact same effect, but you know, around the edges. And to taper off the branches even more and give them just a little bit more structure, I added some spruce fences underneath some of the bigger limbs before adding some quick landscaping around the root system with some dirt and packed mud, which I sprinkled with a couple more bits of dead coral and some brown grass, compliments of the desert environment itself. And when I stood back for the last time and decided I was happy with the design, I copied and pasted the exact same workflow into the next three trees. And I will not go back into detail with how I did that because I think we are done. That's enough explaining. Let's get back to recording Izzy and more importantly her new LA friend because let's be honest it's a lot cuter and quieter and much more enjoyable to watch. I just got done with the build. I am not ready for you right now. <laughs> okay, what do you have? Fire curl. You know what? That would have been amazing like two hours ago. But you do have dark oak saplings. Okay, that I actually do need because I have run out and I can no longer grow them. You can stay. Just give me a second while I go grab some emeralds. And on the way, I'll show you the trees. Here they are. Well, there's one of them. I ended up doing four. Oh, I need to name these guys. I forgot about that. Okay, that's something I can do today as well. I'm not going to name all the villagers right away. Uh, I think I'll just name the smiths today. I will take one. Yeah, that's enough. Thank you. You are still here. That's amazing. I think I'm going to have to give you a name. And I think I do have a name in mind. It's not going to be a big long word like hippo or dizzy. I doubt allays are going to come up in every series that I do, but I do plan to have dizzy and hippo in more than just the junk drawer series. So I am okay with them having big long names because I think that it kind of suits them. But for this LA, I think I want to just do a normal name, like, kind of like what I did with Roly Poly and Oli. She's sticking around pretty well, so I think I have a name idea for her, but I need some name tags first. Before I do that, I need to go show you the trees. Here they are! Pretty okay with the way they turned out. I mean, it kind of looks like a tree. Tree number two is over behind the milk bottle. Uh, this is not the third tree that I built, but we'll call it tree number three. Oh, they're still scaffolding. <laughs> they're still scaffolding up there. Uh, hang on. Ow. Uh, tree number three. There we go. And tree number four. I'm really happy with this design. I think I'd use it again for my first... You know, I forgot about those. <laughs> okay, for what is very obviously not my first custom tree, the design turned out pretty well. And for a custom tree built in a desert, I think it doubly turned out really well. Name tag, name tags. I remembered, don't worry. So I need to name the two smiths. As I was building, my little Alay friend here was very loyal, stuck by me the whole time, nearly pushed me off more than once. <laughs> she is quite busy and I love her for it, even though she might be the death of me someday. That's all I need. Where'd she go? There you are. Also, yes, I have grown very emotionally attached to my little rescued Alay. 
And I know that making her free range is probably gonna mean that she wanders off someday. She could die. I am fully aware of this, but I am not putting her on a lead. I am not putting her inside. She is a free spirit. She is a free fairy. And if that means I have to let her go, that is okay, because I love her so. I'm going to name my two smiths first. First one comes from Windivia, I believe is how you pronounce your name. And she gave me a whole list of names from a book she was reading, which, oh my goodness, thank you for that. But I chose one that I thought was really interesting. And I'm going to spell it a little bit differently. She recommended Dirk, but I'm going to spell it like the weapon. That makes sense to give a toolsmith a weapon name, even though he's not a weaponsmith. Thank you, Indivia, for the idea of the name. This is going to work well, I think, for him. Next toolsmith is going to be named after Chelsea's idea. Thank you, Chelsea. And she recommended any sort of tea name for any of the toolsmiths. And one of her suggestions was Toby. And I love that name. So we're going to do Toby. <laughs> So for right now, I'm only going to name the toolsmiths because I'm not sure what to do with the other two villagers over there. But this last name tag is for the LA. I have a name idea for her. And this is, this is just for me. Where are you? Come here. I'm going to name you. Oh, hold still. That's for you. You, you could kind of see it for a second there. <laughs> Come back. I want to show them your name. Beatrice. That's you. This is Beatrice. Mostly because I I don't know why, but whenever she was around, I would just kept wanting to call her B. Either that or Busy. And I love the idea of Busy being a nickname for Beatrice, so I think it's cute. I think it suits you. You look like a Beatrice. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I think it suits her. Well, she's named now. I'm officially emotionally attached. If you wander off, I will cry. Anyway, let's go name the toolsmiths before I forget. Oh, are you all over there? Hello. All right, they're not too much different. You're going to be... You're going to come back here. You're Toby. <laughs> you look like a Toby. I guess that means you're Dirk. There we go. Toby and Dirk now have names. But there is one other thing that I want to talk to you guys about before we wrap up. So let's go up on the deck. Ooh, I don't think Beatrice is going to be able to follow me up here. Oh, I stand corrected. Oh, my word. <laughs> you are loyal to a fault. The pillagers couldn't handle you. <sighs> All right. I guess I should just rip off the band-aid by saying next episode might be the last episode of Junk Drawer. Season one. Just Junk Drawer season one. There will be other episodes of Junk Drawer. There will be new seasons of Junk Drawer. I promise. I love this series too much. I know all of you do too to give it up completely. So don't worry, the series itself is not going anywhere. And there are several reasons for me needing to wrap up right now. One of which being, I am, believe it or not, running out of ideas. <laughs> I'm running out of Minecraft. <laughs> I know there are like lots of things I could do based off of what other people do in their own worlds, but I, I don't play quite the same. I don't need to get netherite because diamond armor works just fine for me. I don't need to get a wither. I don't need to do everything in Minecraft. What, what are you doing down there? All that to say, I am very happy with everything that I've gotten done in this series. I don't want to drag this out any more than I have to because it'll show in my videos if I do. And I don't want to do that to you guys. I don't want this to be boring. But I have not been bored recently. I have been very busy actually prepping reason number two, which is the lore series. I am so ready to do it. Not physically. There's still a lot of prep work that needs to be done, but I haven't been able to do it because of junk drawer and because of the chunk block series. Between those two, I have been Crazy busy. B, not now. Your butt's in the shot. I need as much time as I can to get all of this done because of reason number three. I have been presented with a very big opportunity, but it's happening a lot sooner than I thought it would, which means I have to get the lore series done as quickly as possible, which means prep work has to be pushed forward, which means junk drawer needs to be done a little bit sooner than some of us might have anticipated, but it is all good things and I'm very excited. Ultimately, it's gonna be for the best of the channel. I want to make it very clear that the spirit of junk drawer is not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I am going to put just as much creativity into this new series, just as much fun, just as much sass as I have put into junk drawer into this new series. There's just going to be some more storyline involved, some different building styles. That's new. Get it, girl. So I really hope you will stay with me as we do this transition into a whole new series and stay with me until the next season of Junk Drawer, which will be here before you know it, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be here before I know it too. Time is going by so fast. I just wanted to make that really clear because I know a lot of you have joined because of the Junk Drawer series and there are a lot of new people here. Thank you all so much for joining. Hello, welcome, welcome. It is so good to have you. I don't know where the heck all of you are coming from. And with that, I think I've rambled on just long enough for most of you to click off. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hopefully that's not the case. If you stayed until the end of the rant, then thank you so much. You are the real ones. So let's finish off by saying thank you all so much for watching. This has been a very fun episode of Minecraft Junk Tour. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, then hello! If you are just joining now, I know it might feel a little bit unfair because we are kind of just wrapping up, but you can go back and watch the rest of the series. Ooh, I could do that. I could link the playlist down in the description. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that because that might make it easier for you guys to go back and watch some of the older videos. I've been told they are just as good. You haven't missed anything, don't worry. And if this is not your first time seeing one of my videos, then uh, please consider subscribing because it would be super helpful. It will let you know when I post next and it will doubly make sure that you do not miss out on the lore series coming up and on the last episode of Junk Tour and all of the things that are coming up. Ah, I don't have my wings on. I can't fly with you. Just a second. Anyway, I should wrap this up before she pushes me off the edge. If you have any questions, critiques, or cries of shock, please leave those down in the comments below. And as always, thank you all so, so much for watching. You are all amazing. I will see you in the last episode of Minecraft Junk Tour next week. Goodbye. Don't worry, I went and flew with her. She's happy now.